everyone, this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Elven Pleasant View. If you're not sure what's going on, don't worry, we'll figure it out as we go. If it's really bothering you though, I'll link the playlist down below. Last time, Joseph Caliente aged up into a toddler, and the family scraped through with just enough money for Nina's wedding, who Katrina arranged to Herb Oldie. Nina married into Herb's family as his second wife, leaving the Caliente estate with her mother and half-brother. That completes round one with the Calientes. Today, we'll be playing with the Dreamer family who live all the way down here in Finchwick. Let's see what they get up to. Let's check out our newly married couple. The first wedding we had in Ellen Pleasant View was between these two. Dina Dreamer now. She's not a lady yet, but Dina Dreamer and Dirk Dreamer. Quite the exciting pairing for me because I don't feel like this is something you see very often. Dina usually ends up with Mortimer in The Sims 2 and um, I, who else? I'm trying to think. Who else? I, th I feel like, uh, is it Malcolm Landgrab uh, is the other person that people kind of <clears throat> go for because, you know, Dina is a bit of a, a gold digger. And then Dirk obviously is involved with Lilith. A lot of the times he does end up with Lilith or one of the other townies. But this is interesting. I'm excited for this pairing. We do have a little bit of flirtation going on between them. Now, I also have, like I said beforehand, the wedding portrait already set up, and I do like the idea that in Elven Pleasant View, all of the wedding portraits have a red frame around them. Kind of like uh, when I watch a lot of like Chinese dramas, they have like the red marriage certificate, and it, it just seems really cool to me. So I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Why don't we uh, put down some of the basics that we do with the other households, like the market? So these guys, they have 968 simoleons. Now, in a lot of ways, you could say that Dina has married down to this family because look at how big uh, the Caliente estate was. They had a ton of farmland and the Dreamer residence is quite small. I mean, look at this. They have a teeny tiny yard. They don't even have space for chickens. They don't have any farm animals. No space for even planting crops or growing anything. Um, inside, look, they have space for two bedrooms. This is barely a living room. Like, this is so tiny. One bathroom between three of them. A decent sized kitchen, but then look, a really quaint um, breakfast slash dining area. And if you go up, we have the attic. So this is uh, like the nursery uh, slash toddler's room in this particular area. I mean, we could expand in the future, I suppose up here. But again, there's not a lot of space that you're working with. So it could be said that Digna's bearing down, but I also feel like in the Caliente estate, because there were only three of them and so much work to be done, it was a bit of a stressful life for Dina. So this is kind of relaxed for her. They're living in the city, things, or you know, in the city, in town. They're living in town, things are a little bit more different than out in the countryside. We have a different sort of trade that we do. So I'm thinking for this particular family, um, they might, in their stall, sell the food that they make. Because it kind of makes sense, right? They're in town. They're selling food, homemade food, rather than planting things and selling produce or um, stuff from the animals because they just don't have space for that. The other thing I really want to get done, as we know, is try for a baby with these guys because we want to expand the family, of course. We want to expand the family. The dreamers want um, another generation of sons. So before we get into that, let's use some of our simoleons to set up the market stall. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, um, activities. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I kind of like, hold on a second. Let me check. Actually, because like the doors and the gates are kind of greenish, this yellowish green market stall I think looks quite nice. And I want to tuck it like back here. I want to tuck it back there so we can still access like the bench and the other side because well there is a door here but yes I kind of want to access that area 
So this is good, this is good, and we probably should get started on making some food. Now the Sim in this household, who is kind of good at that, is Darren. So he's the, the cook of the house. So I think he's going to take charge with a lot of these things. A lot of the needs are really good, which is nice to see. Dina wants to cloud gaze with her mother Katrina. Now she and her sister have a house key to the Caliente estate. Obviously her family members, you know, don't have a key to her home because this is a dreamer residence and you know, I don't think her in-laws would appreciate her handing off the household key to the family rivals, even though they do have a, I mean, they've got a marriage alliance, but the houses are still rivals. The houses are still rivals, of course. Okay, and then Darren wants to chat with Sir Dirk, and he... Oh my goodness. What? Darren! Darren, what are you doing? He wants to flirt with Dina? I mean, if he wants to, but that's your daughter-in-law. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. When you play with um, your Sims in Sims 2, or even in The Sims 4... Is Darren a questionable character? Because I don't remember Darren being a questionable character. I'm being surprised by some of the the elves that we are seeing because people like John and Daniel, who we are used to uh, being creepy and cheating, are not doing that. And the people who we are not used to, like Mortimer and Darren, are now showing some questionable colors. So, hmm, hmm. Okay, well, first things first. Duck and Dina have not spent time together to um, procreate, so they need to go ahead and do that. And I'm hoping they go to the right chamber because remember with Katrina, Katrina and Mortimer, they went straight to Nina's room, which was very uncomfortable. Hopefully this time around they go to the right room. Come on guys, the other direction. The other direction? No? Okay, the other thing, which... Okay, there, there. No? No? Oh, come on, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on a second. Now, this is something that I have noticed within this household. Look, he wants to flirt with Dina. I have played with this house once. Like, I was playtesting it, and for whatever reason, the Sims... They were a married couple in this house. They could not try for a baby or the action wasn't going through. I don't know if it's a problem with the the house itself or if it's a problem with the, the family. It shouldn't be. I'm a little bit confused. But you know what? We do have the bar and the bar does have bedrooms upstairs. So if we have to take them to another lot, we might try and do that. For now though, come on. Can we go ahead and actually get this done? Can we get this done? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. It's because they haven't done a first kiss yet. Something tells me that's not it. Something tells me that is not it because this like interaction is not going through. If it's not, we'll take them to a bar and we'll try again. Okay. We have the inter- and see look it cancels out. So I'm gonna take them to a bar because this is of utmost importance and then we'll be right back guys. We are at the bar. Dina has just taken a test and she is eating for two. But I don't know what the issue is, guys. Like, at home, you saw how the cancel was into The cancel was interactioning itself out. Yeah, I know. The interaction was canceling itself out. And we could not get them to try. So I came to the bar over here that has, like, rooms upstairs. And I could not get them to try they kept canceling the interaction out and i'm not sure why that was so i just got both of them like on the bed and then i had to from dirk like go into cheats here and i had to um, make her pregnant through debug so that's what i had to do so it is definitely dirk and dina's child but the interaction in the game was not working and i had to work around that but I went through the motions of it, kind of like the weddings, how I have to go through the motions of it and then adjust the statuses through cheats. But I, I don't mind too much doing that because it, it's okay. Like, I, I know what I'm trying to get done and um, it's not it's not the end game, so no need to be too, too worried. 
And let's see, he wants to flirt with Dina. They still have not had their first kiss. Like, what is this? She's already pregnant and they have not had their first kiss. Duty first, I suppose. <laughs> Duty first. Okay, let's flirt. Let's flirt a little bit. Spend some time away from your creepy as father. Seriously. His father already has his eye on Dina. Like, no, Darren. What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> okay, well, poor Dirk. I feel bad for him. He doesn't even know how, like, he doesn't even know his father's mind. Does not even know. I feel like he's pretty pleased with, with Dina. I mean, she's not the type of person he would have given attention to. To be fair, he never gave anyone attention because he's always used to being the center of attention in town. But now that um, he has kind of accepted Dina as his wife, I feel like he is quite, quite happy with her. But okay, I'm going to take these guys back home. Actually, can we invite over Katrina? Maybe some, uh, maybe some, maybe spend some time with your mother. Is she here? Oh, she's in town. Let's spend some time with her. I think you wanted to, to cloud gaze before you have to go back home. I think she wanted to, yeah, cloud gaze. So let's spend some time with your mother, update her on the pregnancy, update her on how married life is like in this new home, and then you have to go back and you guys have some work to get done. Darren's probably going to make up some food. I might do that off camera, actually. Darren cooking up some food. Oh, and I completely forgot. We have money to actually set an event. Oh, geez. Well, I think, let's say 10 a.m., is when this went down. I wasn't paying too much attention. So, one, two, three, 10 a.m. on Saturday. 10 a.m. on Saturday is when she's due. Okay, house party, and we actually have money, unlike like with the Kelly days. <laughs> ah, we have money to, to set this up. We're gonna get these guys to host, of course, and we would like to invite Nina and Katrina and Joseph and have you not introduced yourself to hub that's interesting see as soon as uh dina got married to duck nina actively tried to befriend her brother-in-law but with dina she's not really interested in herb oldie hub is her brother-in-law at this point she's, she's not interested hmm fascinating i'll invite those guys and yes it'll be at the dreamer residence at 10 a.m but guys, do you know what this means? Uh, this means that if this baby is a girl, we can get Dina pregnant again in this round. We can, because our cutoff is supposed to be 6 p.m. on Saturday. So after 6 p.m. on Saturday, for every um, like a round we play with the families, we, we can't get them pregnant again because we won't be there for the birth. But because we got stuff going really early with Dina, we can if we need to fit into pregnancies, which is quite exciting. So we're ahead of the game. Because if um, Dina gets pregnant like on Saturday before 6 p.m., then one, two, three, she'll have the baby on Tuesday, like the second time around. And uh, that'll be cleared. We'll be here before the next um, family comes, comes around. So that's really good. We're ahead of the game. We're ahead of the game. But guys, I have to say, like, the the way I'm being able to work around things, um, you know, with the marriages and the like the pregnancies like we saw over here, using those cheats, it's literally because of wonderful whims. Like you need this mod. If you don't have this mod, you are gonna just die of frustration having to work around these glitches in the Sims 4. But if you have this mod, Ah, it is just so helpful. If you have a problem, fix it through cheats. It's amazing. Even like keeping the toddler's needs and stuff the way I I do it. It's just so easy. So easy. Okay, she are you, you going to um, spend some time? She's so exhausted. You know what? She's when they go home. He's exhausted too. I guess Darren's going to be just working on his own for a little bit when these guys go home. He's going to be working on his own for a teeny bit before these guys wake up and maybe help him tend to the stool. He might do a bunch of cooking and just set up the stool and then when these guys wake up they can help out with that. That'd be nice. 
That'd be nice. Did you guys finish your cloud gazing? No? Where's the cloud gazing? Guys, go, go look at the clouds. Go look at the clouds and uh, bond. Bond with each other. Talk about things. Talk about some mother daughter things. Come on, Dina. Let's get going. Let's get going. I hope Dina has a um, a happy, fulfilling life. I don't know if she'll be able to um, be be satisfied with her lot. I mean, I'm not sure. She is probably the most persistent gold digger out of all the Calientes. But also, oh look, Nina's here. Nina, Nina! It's so strange seeing her in purple. I was, I was. I was used to her being in yellow, even though it was for like for two episodes. She's in purple now. She's in the oldie colors. But look at her. You know, I feel like being married off has definitely given them more freedom. She's over here reading a book in this cute ass store when back home she was like toiling on the farm from like the moment she woke up to the moment they dropped it on like in bed because they they had to like you know make money they had to and it was it was rough it was very rough they're always lacking energy and sleep whereas now and she's the second wife too she has time to come to town and like do this do you guys remember when we were playing with the brokes how after they finished all of their housework and after they ran their market for the day, we still had time to take them to the bar. We still had time to take Brandy and Dustin to the art center. When we were playing with the Calientes, there was none of that. Like, we were busy on the estate all the time. Um, just preparing, preparing, preparing. And we, we could not get Katrina to go anywhere, not until I think the very, very end, like once she had married off her two daughters, she actually had time to go to the spa. And that was with 13 Somalians. She couldn't even afford anything, like a, a massage or whatnot. And, and then Dina over here, like she hasn't even worked at all since she married into this house and she really doesn't have to right now. She can just, you know, she can just be the daughter-in-law that's let's looked after, and then the wife who lets the the men in the house kind of carry their weight, which is, which is nice for her, I suppose. But Dirk over here wants to get to know Lady Nina. Look at that! That's nice. Since Nina's here, let's get to know her a little bit. Let's get to know her. They do have a bit of a friendship going on. Um, get to know. Let's see how she's doing. This is good. Dirk is very hard to access. Very hard. People, um, they fangirl over him, but they don't befriend him. And he also, I feel, is is a difficult person to impress. But he's chatting with Nina. He's taking initiative, wanting to uh, get to know his sister-in-law a little bit more. Are they friends? I think they're friends at this point. Yeah, they are. That's good. They are friends. Also, in terms of the um, relationship panel, because we didn't take a look at that, so he's friends with Nina. We already know Dina's story, of course. She's kind of starting a romance with Dirk, which is nice. Darren. So he obviously, you know, mutually doesn't like Katrina. They don't like each other. So the families, even though his daughter-in-law is, you know, from the Caliente family, they do still have a rivalry going on. The families are still rivals. Um, so, you know, you could say that they have a marriage alliance, but they still don't trust each other. Like, the families have a fragile marriage alliance. They still don't trust, trust each other. Um, but it seems as though his family, like the, the Dreamers, they're allied with the Goths. So, they, they are friends. He's friends with uh, Lord Mortimer. So, that's kind of interesting. That is very, very fascinating to me. At this point, Mortimer, he's, it seems as though he's allied with the Calientes and the Dreamers. So I suppose he's the friend in the middle that keeps them from getting at each other's throats. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I need to take these two back and uh, we need to get some, we need to earn some money. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I've spent some time preparing some food with Lord Darren. So he made 
some lactose-free milk bread, cheese, and spooky cookies. I went ahead and got him to just separate everything into individual servings, and I'm putting them in the market stool. And it is late, it is nighttime, but I think we're gonna open the stool. So we'll stock the table over here. I like how every family has slightly different things that they are selling. Look at that! Look at how good that looks! That looks so good. Okay, um, we want to tend the table. Actually, actually, can we come around here and tend? Yeah, we'll get him to tend from back here. So the dreamers have like a food stall in this city, which I love. We'll mark up the prices and we'll start the sale. I don't know how much these go for or what they're priced at. Uh, and to what degree we can sell them. I suppose we'll find out. Um, I just thought it'd be easier to do this than have to sell like dishes as a whole. But if this doesn't work and I actually do have to sell proper dishes, I'll do that too. But hopefully this works out. Because it's so much easier to cook like party sized meals and then to break them up and sell them individually. If this does work out, I'll be so happy because like I said, the different families have slightly different things they're selling with the, oh my goodness, 110. Darren, his food is like pricey. His food is pricey, I love that. But um, with the Brooks, they sell the wool obviously, and then you know, some eggs and honey. Um, you go to the Calientes, they sell a little bit of do they have eggs? They don't actually sell eggs. No. They sell honey. Um, they have eggplants, which they sell separately, not in the stool. Like, in the Brokes have lettuce. But in the stool, you know, they have milk they sell, fish, um, and I think a little bit of crocheting. But this is cool. He's got, like, food that he sells. And I also like the fact that it's so pricey to sell this because we can imagine that maybe this like one plate isn't one plate that he's selling maybe he's selling quite a few plates several plates um and this is kind of just you know they, they make that order and then he sells or sends it to their home and the fact that he's in town his prices being more expensive it makes sense and i like that oh this is so cool this is great because it's gonna make playing with the different families more fun if they have slightly different things they do and you know we can look forward a particular look forward to a particular type of sale um that they have dina you know what dina struck gold guys i'm telling you we thought she married down but she actually struck gold she doesn't have to lift a finger living with the dreamers like she did with the calientes and they so easily earn money like her and her family they were just killing themselves over trying to make enough for, you know, Dina and Nina's wedding. Uh, they had to spend, all three of them, like, the whole day at the stall to even get a fraction of the amount of money these guys are earning just with Darren on his own. Like, he did the cooking on his own, he set up the stall on his own, and within a few hours, it's not even a whole day's gone by, they've made so much money just like that. I love it, though. I flip and love it. Ah, oh, this is so good. This is so, so good. Dina, how's she going? She's feeling okay. Can they, you know what? I'm curious about this. Can they eat from the stall? No, they can't. You, I'm sorry, you can't steal stall food, honey. You can't, you can't. Okay, why don't we get, to, look at the money rolling in. Oh my goodness, city life. City life is like too cool. Okay. Why don't we get Dirk to come here. Dirk, can you help tend? I'm going to get Dirk to tend. Um, and look, this is only marked up at 25%, guys, but they're making so much money. I'm going to get Dirk to tend. Oh, no, geez, sorry. Wrong, wrong Sim. Wrong Sim. Dirk, can, can we tend? Please? Yeah. Tend. Really? You're too uncomfortable? Well, Dina can't. Dean is uncomfortable. Oh, jeez. What is his problem? Separation anxiety? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Seriously? You know what? Darren is like 
so good at this. He doesn't even have to spend the whole day here. Because I, I want him to come inside and I want him to cook some stuff. He, ne he needs to make food for, for the family because the family um, is, is hungry. So can, can we feed? Can we feed the others? Thank you very much. What do we want to make? Something easy. We'll make some mac and cheese. We'll make mac and cheese for the family to eat. And I'm sure you can continue this tomorrow, but wow, these guys, these guys, maybe there's a reason they have such a small home. This chicken, where is this chicken from? I swear we don't own a chicken, but a chicken was threatening me that they would leave. Look, brown hen is leaving due to inadequate care. Hen, we don't own you. We literally don't own you. Do you see a chicken coop here? Can we buy hens without actually having a coop? Is that even possible? Because apparently this hen is ours. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I'm so confused. Like, where is this hen from? I don't know where this hen is from. The mystery of the hen, everyone. What do we do? What do we do? These guys have a chicken coop, right? The Pleasants live over here. Look at their house. They have like three stories. They've got a generous house in town. But they, look, they have space for produce. They have a chicken coop but what what's going on did your chicken like run away from home and end up on our property because i mean we don't have that much space between our homes maybe the chicken did run away for whatever reason so strange so strange okay you guys eating your mac and cheese have you have you had food dean is eating dirk uh you eat as well but these guys are lazy, spoiled. Like the least Dirk could do is clean up after everyone, keep the kitchen in order, because really, he's not even doing anything to earn a living. His father is the one who's sustaining them. Is the least he could do, but no, the house is like trash on the inside. But I was saying before, maybe there's a reason they have a really small residence because it's, it's less work they make enough money to live a very, very comfortable existence. But Dina, Dina's lifestyle wise, she's like struck gold. Okay, father and son, they're kind of just chatting with each other outside, which is quite nice. Dina, do you want to, uh, you probably shouldn't be, but you know, do you, do you want to be nice enough to like clean this up really? Come on, let, let's try and just be nice a little bit, clean it up. Oh, okay, never mind. Duck, duck heard what I said. I think Dirk heard me, guys, because look, he's actually cleaning up after everyone. Good on you, Dirk. Good on you. Let's get, um, actually, don't take a steamy shower. Just take a shower. Let's just take a shower. That's fine and well. And let's see you. Let's use the restroom. Yeah, let's use the restroom. And then Darren kind of needs to take care of himself. Duck, what is this? I thought you were cleaning up. He's not even cleaning up the plates. Ridiculous. He cleaned up what? Like one plate? Darren spoils his son. And that's exactly why Duck would never imagine that his father has his eye on Dina. This is exactly why. Okay. Duck's over here. We need to get... Um him to flirt with Dina at some point, hopefully out of Dirk's eye. Is that possible? Oh, no, 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 no. Not, sh they wouldn't do it like in front of Dirk. They would not. They would not. Can we come here? There is no way they would do this in front of Dirk. And we don't know Dina's stance on this just yet. We don't know Dina's stance on it. Look, Dina and Darren are both feeling flirty. Okay, hold on. We'll go do this. We'll go do this. Is Dina going to put a rift between father and son, guys? What do you think? Look at her! <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Dirk just walked in. Did he see anything? I don't think he saw anything, guys! I don't think he saw anything! He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what they've been doing behind his back. Okay, 
cut cut it out cut cut it out cut it out oh my goodness take her on a date are you crazy darren are you crazy you can't you can't oh my goodness okay guys okay yeah. well thankfully our food is gonna last for a bit i feel yeah it's gonna last two days so he can actually use the stuff he made to earn a living over the next couple of days which is good but i think this is probably a good time to wrap up the episode here the dreamers to be honest have been so fun to play so far um not only because of the, the market stall but you know the drama that's been happening with them i cannot wait to see what they get up to next what is this win? become friends with dina okay that's a bit more lukewarm which is good which is good hopefully he keeps things that way but i'm gonna leave off here thank you so much for watching when we come back next time we shall continue to see what the dreamers are up to bye bye